Welcome to Midday Sport, and we take you straight into our first story where the bankroller of Mediama SC Football Club, Moses Ama, has revealed to Joy Sports that the financial burden on the club in their CAF Confederation Cup campaign is heavy. Now, Mediama have uh, some time back threatened to withdraw from the competition due to financial difficulties. They are currently third on the table. Uh, six more points uh, will ensure qualification into the semi-finals of the competition. Now, Moses Ama says that playing in Africa has not been easy. Difficult. As of now, I'm telling you, it's still difficult. We learned uh, calf, uh, now as now since some money that's more than seventy-five thousand dollars so we are going to see but if this money comes it come to cancel the debt there because already we have debt so let's see so just to give us an idea how much money have you spent so far oh it's huge it's huge because every match that we go i think we spend not less than seventy thousand are we match and we even hope we pay almost to twenty thousand dollars how much we, we, we need to qualify because if not then it means we lost out of money so we need to qualify to the next stage well we do some more football here on midday sport and we will uh, go straight on the phone line to joy sports baba tando who is at a meeting uh, between the ghana league clubs association and all football clubs uh, remember that uh, uh, various leagues are in in session and um, uh, plans are underway to ensure that everything goes well in terms of organization now uh, baba thank you very much for your time here on the midday sport uh, tell us exactly what has been transpiring today at that meeting Okay, thank you very much. Now, now, basically, what I gathered from the vice president of Galpa, that's Alex Akini, were the highlights of this meeting, which he described as very crunch, for which reason it is closed to the media and, for that matter, the public. Now, they will be discussing the way forward, and this is with only the Premier League club. They will be discussing the way forward with respect to the remaining eight matches in the Ghana Premier League. Now, some clubs have complained about, you know, officiating issues, and Galpa is looking to find humanly possible ways to ensure that the journey to the end of the season will be smooth and have everything on point. Now, topmost on the agenda will be the cast ruling of the Tema Youth Ghana Football Association and Dreams FTK. Now, I am reliably informed that uh, some clubs are advocating for the suspension of the league to make way for the implementation of the ruling from CAS. And digging further, I realized that it was the majority of the clubs who are flirting the relegation who are making these calls for the league suspension. And obviously, uh, they would like to buy time to put things right in order to escape relegation. And now, if you don't mind, I can tell you who and who are here for this meeting. Go ahead. Okay, so there's a Gaka uh, chairman, that's um, Kujo Piano, who's here, together with his assistant, Alex Akumi. Uh, that's the vice chairman of Gaka now. Almost all the 16 clubs are well represented here. There's Vincent for Odute for Hard to Cook. There's Abed Kwame for Adriana Staff. Adriana is here for Wa All Staff. George Fiye is here for Liberty Professionals. I've seen the Lali Senaya. The Lali is representing Inter Allies. Alexa Kume is here together with um, Abdul Salam Yakubo and Joe Salam Abu Bakar. They are representing New Ejidiasi. Ebusa does do have a representative here. So is um, Mr. George Amwako. There's Oluboy Komodon. And I'm in Ketia for Chelsea. Um, I just saw Nick Chow walking for the team on CFC. So, like I said, not almost all the 16 Premier League clubs are well represented here at the Regal Restaurant here in Ozu, where they are meeting to find new things for the remaining eight matches of the Ghana Premier League and also to, you know, find the possible way forward for uh, the implementation of the ruling by the Court of Arbitration for Sport from the Summer Youth Ghana Football Association and Dream FTK. Now, uh, Baba, just before you take leave of us, are we certain that the meeting will produce uh, a specific decision concerning uh, the implementation of the cast ruling where uh, Tema youth have to be reinstated to the Premier League? Okay, now the meeting went underway just about um, a little under an hour ago. And um, they are hoping that they could come out with um, a firm you know, solution after the way forward with regard to the ruling from CAS. But um, as it stands now, I mean, I'm hearing quite a lot of noise meaning that they haven't reached any consensus yet. They haven't reached any, you know, any, any, any solution yet. But I'm here, I'm, I'm hovering around here 
trying to gather all the bits and pieces of information I can get from here. But I'm sure they hope that by the end of the, by the end of the time they be here, they should have found some um, solution or um, some way forward uh, as regards to the ruling from CAD. Thank you very much, uh, Baba Tanda of Joy Sports, for uh, bringing us updates on a crucial meeting between the Ghana League Clubs Association heads and uh, all Premier League clubs concerning major decisions that have been to, to be taken uh, with eight match days remaining to wrap up uh, the Premier League season. That's how we wrap up Midday Sport. Uh, stay on for more here on Joy Midday News, and I'll be back on your TV at 14 hours with Sports Today. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and I have love for sport.